Ever wondered if there was an eighth wonder of the world? Well, if there isn't, there ought to be. And today's subject might just be it. Strap up, because we are about to go in on this one. When it comes to personality dynamics and the intricate nature of human connections, some, one can say, are matches made from heaven, while others can be doomed from the jump and seen as matches made straight from the depths of hell. That said, from time to time, Sigma INFJs may find themselves in strange entanglements. With their elusive and empathetic nature, they unintentionally set themselves up as bait and become ensnared in a perilous, fatal attraction to the mesmerizing yet dangerous and illusionary world of narcissists. This magnetic pull, woven with threads of vulnerability and manipulation, makes one wonder what fuels this magnetic connection between the selfless and the self-absorbed. What really lies beneath this magnetic attraction? Brace yourself for revelations that delve deep into the shadows of the psyche. Why Sigma INFJs are unwittingly drawn to the captivating allure of narcissists. And most importantly, the empowering keys that unlock the path to liberation. Providing practical solutions, strategies, and valuable guidance on how Sigma INFJs can break free from this pattern and finally stop attracting these destructive, troubled souls by the end of it all. Every relationship is a unique dance, a blend of energies that can either uplift or devastate. With the Sigma INFJ experience, however, this dance often takes a curious turn. Their captivating blend of qualities, like their quiet strength and boundless empathy, creates a magnetic pull that attracts individuals from various walks of life. Unfortunately, this also includes narcissists, who, in their unquenchable thirst for validation, are drawn to the Sigma INFJ's empathetic energy like moths to a flame. The narcissist doesn't start of like one. They are very strategic and calculated in the beginning. Their go-to weapon is what is called the love bombing. For those who aren't aware of the term, love bombing is a manipulation tactic used by narcissists to quickly build a strong emotional connection with their target. It involves showering the target with excessive affection, attention, compliments, and gifts. In the eyes of the Sigma INFJ, with their usual strong intuition, the love bombing sort of acts as a kryptonite and disarms their Sigma ability to detect this deception. This doesn't come from a place of weakness or naivety. Sigma INFJs are very strong and calculated themselves. But this disarmament can sometimes happen due to the fact that on average people tend to overlook and leave the Sigma INFJ alone. As they like to be low-key anyway, this doesn't come as a surprise. On the narcissist's end, they may spot this and mistakes their solitude as an opportunity of a lifetime. They might use grand gestures, romantic gestures, and heartfelt words to make the Sigma INFJ feel cherished and valued. Love bombers often engage in mirroring, where they adopt the same interests, hobbies, and values as the Sigma INFJ. This creates an illusion of a strong connection based on common ground, making the Sigma INFJ feel understood and validated. Narcissists also tend to escalate the relationship at an unusually rapid pace. They might profess their deep feelings or even talk about a future together early on. This accelerated timeline can make the Sigma INFJ feel understood and validated on a profound level. Unfortunately, it's all smoke and mirrors, pun intended. But what really draws the narcissist to the Sigma INFJ? Because this is not their usual prey. There is something else to them. It ain't hard to tell that Sigma INFJs possess an undeniable enigma, a mix of quiet strength and empathetic depth that can attract those around them, or even more so attract narcissists like moths to a flame. Sigma INFJs possess a deep sense of empathy and understanding, making them attentive listeners and nurturers. This quality is highly attractive to them because they crave attention and admiration. The narcissist sees the Sigma INFJ as someone who can provide the validation and emotional support they seek. Another thing that may attract a narc to a Sigma ENFJ is probably their quiet confidence and mysterious aura. This enigmatic quality intrigues the narcissist, making the Sigma INFJ a challenge to understand and conquer. Narcissists thrive on the pursuit of what seems unattainable, and the Sigma INFJ's elusive nature draws them in.
Beneath the surface, a complex psychological interplay is at work. Sigma INFJs often possess a natural inclination to see the best in people, striving to understand even the most troubled souls. And the narcissist tends to idealize their partners during the initial stages and perceive the Sigma ANFJ to be the closest things to perfection. As the narcissist weaves their web of flattery and false intimacy, the plot thickens as they see how brutally honest and open the Sigma INFJ is. They are emotionally open and willing to explore their feelings and thoughts. Narcissists capitalize on this vulnerability by exploiting the Sigma INFJ's emotional intimacy, using it to manipulate and control the relationship dynamics. So, as a Sigma INFJ, if you were perhaps for the first time in your life, caught lacking, don't be ashamed, it happens to the best of us. Take them as lessons, because these are the encounters that create that Sigma shield to begin with. But understanding the puzzle is only the beginning of getting back up from that slip. Because truly, shielding oneself starts with self-awareness. Shielding oneself from narcissists through self-awareness is a powerful strategy for Sigma INFJs. By recognizing their own tendencies, vulnerabilities, and strengths, they can build a strong defense against manipulative individuals. To interrupt this cycle, Sigma INFJs need to shift their focus inward. Sigma INFJs must learn to differentiate between genuine connections and toxic entanglements. Educate yourself further about the common traits and behaviors of narcissists and what made them become this way, because when you understand you will come to know that their jabs at you shouldn't even bother you at all. You will see why they are the way they are, and will begin to see them differently and even sorry for them, when you see that they either come from an upbringing of privilege, that is, getting too much without no limits or boundaries placed on them, or being emotionally neglected by their parents or caretakers. Nonetheless, be vigilant for signs of love bombing, excessive flattery, manipulation, and inconsistency in their words and actions. Developing a keen eye for these warning signs can help you identify potential narcissists early on. Sigma INFJs often have a strong intuitive sense about people and situations. Trust your gut feelings. If something feels off or too good to be true, Take a step back and evaluate the situation more objectively as you usually do. Establish and communicate your personal boundaries from the outset. Narcissists often test boundaries to see how much they can manipulate and control. Maintain your limits and be firm in enforcing them. If they narc as a family member, classmate, or co-worker, this will be an ongoing battle because, as you probably know, they never cease to want to step on shoes. Narcissists thrive on rushing relationships to create a false sense of intimacy. Counteract this by taking